Hello everyone and welcome to Rob's Rogues and the Batman Universe. We'll shine some light here on Nightwing from the new Batman Adventures or as you know Batman the Animated Series Season 4 redesigns of the figures and something that was really nice and really cool they let Dick Grayson, Robin grow up and become Nightwing and I wish he was in more of the episodes He's in a, a handful of them. There's 20-some episodes, so I think he comes in and out. He has a couple episodes where it's almost solely him, but he's in probably half of the episodes, but sometimes he's in half of the half of the episodes. I always thought it was really cool to see. I don't know if Lauren Lester, the voice actor, uh, had other commitments somewhere, so he wasn't able to put as much time into the Dick Grayson character or if uh, that's just how they particularly wrote uh, the Dick Grayson Nightwing characters just to kind of come in and out since he was you know on his own now there's one quotation too on his own now as his own uh, crime fighter this figure also comes to us from the Batman line like I said with the Joker that was Batman versus the Joker this was actually Batman and Nightwing so I got him as a two-pack, again, um, at like an Odd Lots or a Big Lots type of thing. Um, I did find this one at Walmart, but I, I saw them more extensively at the, you know, dollar type of stores. Uh, he did come, like I said, with another Batman that I am desperately trying to find here. Here he is. Got him in a little plastic baggie. I still have him in his little plastic sleeve here. See, again, a straight-up repaint, and this is like camouflage Batman bats camouflage. You can see the little bat emblems there. You know, a little another little repaint of the body mold. I, as you see, I've left him in this little inner package that he came with because they were, you know, standing like this together. So, I've never done anything with him, and... Uh, I've had this figure since uh, 2000, and I don't ever plan on taking him out of this thing. Oh, you know what? Maybe I will, because I will show all of them. There you go. First time he's been out of package. There you go. Straight up repaint. Nothing to really write home about. Um, uh, no accessories or anything with any of these guys. So, um, if I do have him standing on a shelf, uh, I've had him in that little plastic sleeve. He's been in the back, back, back row behind all the other Batman. Um, is what it is. A different kind of paint scheme, but hey, that's not why I bought the figure. I bought him for Nightwing so I could have a standard Nightwing. There was a uh, Crime Solver Nightwing that came out, and he was more of a standard buck body figure that he more had this body style than this stance. Um, I end up not buying, like I said, the new Batman Adventures action figures other than Robin. I have no idea why I stopped. I think because I was buying so many Star Wars action figures, I kept telling myself, oh, next week I'll pick one up. Oh, next week. And guess what? Next week never happened. So nowadays when I tell myself, oh, I'll pick him up next week, I generally pick him up the day that I see them. But I do like this stance on Nightwing. Sometimes he's a little hard to stand. You've got to get him just right uh, to be able to stand. But I like this the closed fist. I love the side profile of him that looks like he's just ready to go out and punch somebody. As you could tell, he does have a mullet, almost a Michael Bolton mullet there. So they uh, gave Nightwing a long hair as he had in the comics. And uh, I just, I, I love this figure. Um, I've always kind of been a Nightwing fan and uh, it would have been nice if they would have, you know, left Nightwing without the uh, <laughs> mullet, but that is, he's a little dusty too. Uh, it's kind of a sign of the times to let you know what Nightwing was looking at in the comics, so they just uh, did that with Nightwing. And this is where we see for the first time that they use this bird motif for the Nightwing logo. Um, up until the animated series, it's always been this type of V thing that always went down his... Uh, arms, which I wish the animated series would have done that, was have the, uh, even if they had the birds to have it, the wings, arms, or the arms of the bird to come down his arms and into his fingers. Uh, I've thought about paying the figure from time to time, but I just didn't want to ruin the figure because I, I do really like it. 
this is how the normal standard Nightwing logo is in comics. But uh, the animated series decided to give him a bird type of a logo. And if you've watched The Young Justice, The Young Justice uh, honors the Nightwing bird logo and uh, had it on their Nightwing. So I thought that was a nice little kind of tip to the hat to the animated series that they did that as well. And now this has kind of become an iconic look for the Nightwing logo. If you see people do a Nightwing logo instantly, you know that, hey, that's, uh, that's Nightwing. So I thought that was a, a nice little touch that the animated series did. At first I thought, oh, that's kind of stupid. But the more I watched it, the more I kind of uh, grew to like it. And I have a, an animated series Nightwing uh, shirt, which I think is really kind of cool. Um, basically an all black figure, just, you know, the black bodysuit, no other uh, markings anywhere on the figure, no other detailing lines, but uh, the figure just looks so, so very cool. Uh, five points of articulation. The head does turn. We'll do a full 360, even with the long hair. Arms do go all the way around. And just the way the arms are sculpted, you can get him in some real dynamic poses. Like he's uh, mad at something. Like, we're going to go out and punch somebody in the throat. Punch dirty turkeys in the face. So um, he is not able to get in a decent seating position. He can. Um, does more of laying back. He can ride in a Batmobile and a bat plane. He kind of like slouches in a little bit, but still, nonetheless, I think a very good figure. Get him to stand here. We'll bring up his animated series, Dick Grace's counterpart. So there's not too much of a resemblance in the face. Again, they redesigned the figures. But uh, it is kind of cool to have both of them. And sometimes in the uh, Wayne Manor Batcave place set, I would have Nightwing kind of looking at his costume. Almost like he wants to punch him in the throat. <laughs> but this figure got re-released again in the same stance, but instead of the sparkly metallic, which I don't know if the camera could pick that up or not, like the sparkly metallic blue paint, uh, the same sculpted Nightwing was released with Batgirl and Penguin in the Justice League Unlimited 3-pack. So if you bought that Nightwing, this is the body style that you got. But the sparkly version of this, and it's the only sparkle blue, comes from this weird Batman line that uh, they were selling to retailers of like some, like again, dollar store type places. Walmart did have a few of these, and that's actually where I bought this Nightwing and Batman 2-pack. So, again, the Batman was a throwaway figure. This was a way for me just to get Nightwing to finally have the th four main figures from this line. And I will bring up the three that I have. As we're kind of uh, waiting for Batman here. So, a nice look to the Batman family. Seeing Batman, Batgirl... Batman, excuse me, Nightwing, Robin, and Batgirl. I can't talk today for some reason. So Batman will be the last figure that we'll bring up from a line. It's kind of fitting that we leave Batman towards the uh, as the very last figure. So today we've been taking a look at Nightwing from the Batman figure line, so to speak, of the Batman and Nightwing two-pack set, but we know this is from the new Batman Adventures. So as always, this is Rob for Rob's Rogues and the Batman Universe signing off saying we will see you guys next time.